All right, guys, check out all these crabs. I'm gonna use these crabs to catch blackfish. They are quick and they will pinch you. But basically, we're gonna put this crab, put the crab on a jig head. I'm just gonna hook the crab, send it to the bottom of the ocean, see what we catch, man. It's real early in the morning, made the trip from New York to Connecticut, and let's catch some fish, man. Okay, tow tog. Yep. Minimum length of tow tog, mm -hmm. 16 inches, mm -hmm. two fish per angler. Oh, okay, so it's not crazy for the summer season. Right? Which is fine. Yep. 15 inches sea bass, five fish per angler. Which is crazy. No wreck. That we gotta take two, what, three? Yeah, we take three back home. Squid, no license required. All right, let's go. Finally. Toe tog. Summer toe tog. Slimy little little guy. Still no keepers though. Half ounce Kalen jig head and a piece of crab. And a crab. That's all I'm doing here. Got some rips here. That's it. Just drop it on the rips. That means there's a rock there. Just working along the edges, the whole edges, everywhere on the rock. You got another good one you said? Yeah, I did. 18 or so, 19. Here we go. Sea bass. Is that a sea bass? I can't tell. Yeah, nice. We got our first victim. Sand sea biscuit. Nice one. Nice sea bass. Let's take a look at him. It's probably about 18 inches. Long Island Sound sea bass, though. It's pretty cool. Don't get too many of those. Ouch. At least I don't. It's got to be 15 inches, so I think we're well over that. But we'd like to take a keep keep some sort of record, so. YouTube ends up being my record a lot of the time. Yeah, it's about 17 and a half, 18. So, Long Island Sound Sea Bass. We got meat in the cooler now. 18 inch sea bass. Fruits of the labor, right? Damon's not gonna like I put my sandwich over that. So we got a sea bass. Not bad. Wow, that was a good hit. All right, we got him out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, I know. I know you folks want to see the catch and cook hacklehead. Oh, Damon just asked me if I caught anything. Should I tell him I've just completed? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is the most requested catch and cook specimen we've had so far. And by God, is this thing gnarly. So, uh... All right, well, we got out of New York for the day. No keeper tog for me. Damon had him, but not me. 
Uh, I got my keeper sea bass, and we'll prepare that fish up. It is hot. Should have kept that hackle head, but you know, I feel like it's less genuine if I didn't do it. But uh, all right, let's get a uh, get back to the car, and we'll do that sea bass hole. We'll do a whole sea bass. I think that's a good idea. All right, let's get out of here. So everyone always complains my catch and cooks are kind of generic, right? Because I always do one thing, like fillet the fish up, right? Man, we're Americans. We're weird. We like no bones. Everything to be as close to processed as it can. So this time we're going to do the sea bass hole. Sea bass I do like hole. One of the few fish you'll get me to do a hole aside from... Probably aside from crappie. There's a few other fish I'll do hole, but sea bass is one of them. So quick scale job, right... guys that are asking why I always have a towel over my leg is I have black ink from a tattoo uh, it cooks it drives me nuts to be out there all the time with that thing in the sun and so I just try to keep it out of the sun okay so we scaled them up right uh, I don't know, it seems like some people do this some people don't I think you're supposed to you just trim off the fins they get in the way anyway while you're eating it cooking it Take out all his organs. Nice. Real nice. You just don't want to pop the what's called the gallbladder. That's what's going to make the, you know, the rest of it's going to clean. I'll rinse it out. I'll clean it at home a thousand times. But the gallbladder has got this, this liquid, this bile. And that's what makes the fish, that damages the fish. Everything else in between is kind of whatever. Cooked whole sea bass ain't bad. So, uh,. Hope these bags are gonna be big enough. All right, we got it. All right, so one of those. You know what I'm gonna do since it's gonna be a tight squeeze. You don't need the tail really, so. All right, so our sea bass, right? It's good. That's it, in a bag. Prepped, cleaned, ready for whole cooking. Here we go. All right, we're going as simple as it gets with this one. Um, all we're gonna be doing here is two inch incisions along the sea bass, right? So I'm gonna just cut down every about two inches or so. I'm going all the way to the bone. We're gonna stuff these incisions and also um, we're gonna, it's gonna help the fish cook faster and more evenly. And there, we're gonna probably just go straight with the adobo and garlic. Cal Chung showed me this. Um, actually, he showed me a few recipes now, but um, this is one he's been using. Um, and we're gonna basically stand this fish up vertically on the grill. Olive oil. So we got oil. We've got garlic, right? We're gonna press as much garlic as we can into these slits. All right, we're gonna go pretty generous with the adobo. Right, and just give it a nice little, nice little coat in there. Cook fish too often whole, but uh, I thought this was pretty, uh, pretty interesting way to to stand it up so it, it sits vertically on the grill. So now instead of it falling over, it'll cook this way, and it'll, you'll get an even cook out of it. So we're gonna put the fish on the grill, whole foil in there, and take it from there. All right, so we just placed our sea bass on the grill right here. I did add some fresh lemon wedges to it. Uh, we're gonna give this about 15 minutes, maybe 20 whole. Uh, maybe I'm gonna close it up in a minute uh, towards the end to get a nice finish on it. Um, this is gonna get a real nice even coating on it. So let me go ahead and set my timer. This is gonna be the best. I love sea bass, so here we go. All right, so the sun went down. Uh, but my sea bass is done. Uh, it did fall over on its side as I tried to get it off the grill, but we got a nice crisp finish here. We're gonna bring it inside and eat it whole for dinner. Uh, I'm gonna give it a few minutes to rest up and firm, but yeah, man. Thanks, Cal, man. That's This looks real, really good. A nice whole fish recipe. All right, man, so here we go. We're gonna do our first taste of a skin-on whole black sea bass. 
This looks amazing. It looks really good. I'm probably going to make a mess of this, but here goes. Twenty minutes on the grill. Man, this is good. Good, good, good. Uh, if you have comments or questions, you know, leave them in the description below. This is good stuff right here. If, you want, if you're looking to try fish whole for the first time, um, you know, it's messy. It's going to be a messy way to eat this thing. This is good right here. So whole black sea bass, the cheek meat, oh, the cheeks. This fish is legit. That's all I got for you. All right, guys. Uh, I'll catch you next week with another catch and cook. Um, this was legit, delicious, probably pretty healthy. Yeah. Try it. Make it. Do it. You got your whole fish out of me. I hope you guys enjoyed. So we'll catch you up with you next week. So tie lines, guys.